Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. And in today's video, I am doing September's empties slash declutter. A lot of these items, either I've used them up, tried them out, didn't like them, wasn't for me. And so I am getting rid of them. But before I jump into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and without further ado, let's get started. So I don't plan for this video to be long at all because I don't have that many items. Um, I have it right here in this little bucket. So the first thing I'm gonna show is just one candle, and it's from Bath & Body Works Laundry Day. I really like this scent. It definitely smells like laundry. So. If you are, you know, fall cleaning because summer is over and you're doing your laundry and you just want a fresh, crisp scent going, then this candle here is nice. It's crisp, eucalyptus, lavender, and fresh air. Like I said, it, it's like a fresh scent. So I definitely really, really like this one and I would repurchase it again. It smells like laundry detergent, but in a candle setting. If you get what I'm saying. Now I'm going to show you hair products that I've used. Um, and this is Eben Wonder Lace Bond. This is the active um, can. I've used the yellow one. And now I'm using the black one, which is for sensitive. This is basically what I use to, you know, lay my lace down. I don't use glue because I like to take my units off every night. I cannot sleep with these things on. So... I definitely use something that is, isn't is really harsh on my skin, easy to remove with water, it doesn't leave any residue. And when I say it holds, it holds. I got this from my local beauty supply. It could be at Walmart by now and probably a little bit cheaper, but you can definitely find this in your local beauty supply. And this is just a close up in case you were interested in this. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the empties and then I'm going to show you the items that I am decluttering and getting rid of because I just didn't like them. So, I've showed Mighty Patches before in my videos. I already re-upped doing the Ulta Fall Haul Sale and this was more like the travel pack. This one had, I think, 12 and the full size has 36, but I've spoken highly about these acne patches so many times they are the bomb and they work when i tell you they work they work so try them out you can get them at target ulta i'm not sure if they're at walmart but for sure target and ulta so moving on to the good molecule niacinamide serum it's formulated with 10 percent niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores I can't say that it did something just revolutionary to my skin compared to the ordinary niacinamide, but it's affordable and I did like the way it left my skin. And I've showed this one in a haul video before as well, but just a close up in case you're interested. And I got this from Ulta. I think I paid $6.80 or $7 for this. But it is a good serum to try out if that's something that you're interested in. Moving on to body care empties. This is the Body by TPH, which is Taraji P. Henson. Good glaze and energizing gel body cleanser in mandarin and ginger. I definitely like this scent. I like the way this cleanser left my skin. I definitely need another one if I can find it because it's not sold at my local Walmart, which I'm not understanding, but I definitely need it. Then the Nivea Oil Infused Lotion. This is just a basic lotion. Use this up. And will I repurchase? Probably so. I mean, it's just a basic lotion. So moving on to makeup empties. The first thing I want to show you guys is the Sephora Black Brush Tip Eyelash Adhesive. I got this because they no longer carry the House of Lashes uh, lash adhesive. And this is what the tip looks like. It gets very like messy and glunky, if you see. But it did what it needed to do when it came to applying my lashes. So I really can't complain. Also, the 
KVD Tattoo Liner. I mean, I've used this to the max. This is the Mad Max Brown 20. I tell you, I like this eyeliner. I really do. It is a very matte. It doesn't smudge. It's a very, very pigmented brown liner. And I've showed this before in plenty, plenty videos. I also like the way that the tip looks. And that's what the tip looks like. Very good if you're trying to make a sharp, you know, wing eyeliner. I haven't mastered that task yet, but I really like this eyeliner. Then for lips is the Buxom Lip Polish and Dolly. I've talked about this before. I really love Dolly as far as this shade. It just looks stunning on my lips i love buxom lip polish lips creams anyway this is a plumping lip polish and this is what it looks like i have scraped and scraped till is there's no more to scrape out honestly last thing for makeup is the pure push-up 401 sculpting concealer i've showed this multiple times in my videos i got this from influencer and I really like this concealer. It was a great match. And I'm kind of surprised because I selected this by doing a survey and I wasn't sure if they were gonna send the correct concealer shade to me. But I really like the way that the Dofa applicator looks, how flat it is. So it's a little bit more precise and you don't have to worry about using too much product. Last but not least, I'm going to show you items that I am decluttering because either I didn't like them or they just wasn't the correct shade or something of that sort. First thing is the shower gloves. These are the Ulta brand shower gloves. I don't like them. They were thin and they just felt a little different on my skin compared to the Eco Tools ones and the Earth Therapeutic ones and even the ones I got from Walmart. These just, these just are not hitting. Um, I don't know if it's because of the size or something. It just, it just didn't feel like how the other ones felt on my skin. So I think I've used this maybe six or seven times. And I just finally said, you know what? They need to go in the trash. I already bought more during the Ulta haul sale, so. I don't need to, you know, punish, continue to punish myself by using these shower gloves. This, I wouldn't per se say I didn't like it. I think I've had it so long that it has lost its potency. So it's probably, you know, exceeded its shelf life. And this is the Jergens Body Butter uh, Collection, the lavender with calming lavender oil, essentials oil, triple butter blend. I think I have about this much left in there, but when I tried to use it, the consistency was different and it had lost its scent. So I've had this for quite some time, but I kind of put it on the back burner to use other products. And so yeah, it definitely has to go in the trash. It's not a bad body butter. I just didn't use it in time to get, reap the full benefits of the entire bottle or two. So I received two items from Influencer for Revlon. Um, what is this? The Color Stay Skin Awakening campaign. And number one, they sent me foundation that's for combination and oily skin. And I don't have oily skin. So this foundation was super, super duper duper dry. I have normal skin. And they sent me a shade that had me looking like a ghost. It has SPF 15 in it, and this was shade 310. It says it has vitamin E antioxidants defense in it. But I tried to do a video of this just to show what it looks like on me, but I was literally looking casket ready, and I just wasn't going to put that on my YouTube channel. It looks horrible, 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 horrible. But this is what... The foundation looks like have you tried this i'm not even really sure why they sent me combination oily skin because when i took the survey i clearly stated that i have normal skin um i have acne prone skin but it's still normal 
Um, also, I don't know where they get this shade from because I definitely wouldn't have picked this. Literally, let me let me show you what it looks like on my hand. That's basically a concealer shade, a uh, brightening concealer shade on me. What what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do with this? Nothing. So along with the foundation, I did get a concealer in shade 001. It's supposed to be a caffeine and vitamin C 5-in-1 concealer. And I'm assuming they sent me 001 because it's supposed to be a brightener. Yeah, it says perfect brightening, hydrate, refresh. This was too light for me as well. Um... I think if I would have got my right shade, I probably would have liked this as well. This reminds me of the Maybelline concealer um, and foundation, this little squeegee thing. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on my skin as well. So basically the concealer and the foundation looks like they're the same freaking shade. And it definitely wasn't for me. Now, I called myself going to Dollar Tree to pick up some things that I normally would not utilize just to try something different to see if it'll work. Because sometimes spending your coins on certain things doesn't necessarily mean that it's high quality and it's gonna do what it needs to do. Now, I get makeup wipes from the Dollar Tree basically to like clean up makeup around me off my hands when I'm doing my makeup. And I didn't pick up the normal brand that I get because I really prefer unscented but I picked this up and it says rich radiance cocoa butter cleansing wipes removes dirt oil and makeup and it had all these vitamin A C D in it didn't really matter because I wasn't putting this on my face so what I did was not only did I pick up one I picked up two reason why I don't like these smell the cocoa butter is strong but it's so strong and pungent that it's a sickening smell it just and I had to use one to wipe off the foundation and concealer right now and literally like I want to gag I need to go wash my hands it's just it is just nauseating I promise you I'm not overreacting it's just when I used one, I was like, okay, give it a try. Miriam, don't be so hard. It's just $1.25. I cannot. It's $1.25, so that's why it's going in the trash because I can go right back to Dollar Tree and get the ones that I used that did not have a scent and I can keep it moving. Oh my God. I don't, maybe I should just give them to someone. Uh, my cousin my sister friends or something versus throwing it away i don't know i don't even know if they would want them either because the smell is like ridiculous okay the concealer is like stuck up under my nail well the wipe ain't doing too much to get rid of the makeup <laughs> but i don't know i'll decide if i'm gonna truly trash these or just give them to someone but they are no for me they are a capital N O for me last item to show also got it from Dollar Tree and this is the Bath and Beauty makeup brush cleaner rinse free formula so I was like okay this is the little cheap version of uh what is that cinema secrets I think I'm saying that right you know the brush clean uh cleanser brush cleaner can I talk that um if I'm not saying it right, I'll have it down below. But I got this. Just don't clean nothing. Nothing. It does. Zero. It doesn't even remove a speck of makeup from your brushes. But it was $1.25. $1.25 that is going in the trash. I mean, I probably could keep the bottle and use the sprayer for something else. Just pour this out and reuse the bottle I might end up doing that but I mean what can I expect for something that costs a dollar 25 this was made what you mean made in Turkey but then it has New Jersey as the 
brand LLC. Well, at least it says it's not tested on animals, but it, it don't work on your makeup brushes either. So it's a no, but I'm gonna give you a close up so you can see what not to buy from Dollar Tree. So those were all of the items that I am emptying and decluttering for September. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. I really, really, really appreciate your support and checking out my videos. And as I always say, thank you for watching.